Hey guys, Kelly from Kelly's Astrology here. Quick video to give you a heads up about some exciting dates coming up and also to let you know about two things for the week ahead to keep in mind. We've got one thing to look forward to, Venus moving into Sagittarius, October 18 to November 12th. And one thing to be mindful of, which is Mars in Capricorn conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. That's happening uh, October 19. So Venus moving into Sagittarius. This is really good for two reasons. One, Venus it means Venus is leaving Scorpio where she has a couple of little challenges to deal with. So generally speaking, Venus is just working a little bit more uh, to her potential. So there's a little bit more of a friendliness or even a collaborative energy happening um, that we can all tap into now that Venus is in Sagittarius. But even more importantly, uh, this puts Venus into a really friendly, flowy, tight relationship with Jupiter and Libra. So it's a type of mutual reception or friendliness, we might say, because Venus and Jupiter are in each other's signs. Now, now, while Venus is in Sagittarius, the whole period really, the, the few weeks from October 18 to November 12th, great for uh, you know thinking big, dreaming big, working with other people, uh, just because of that special relationship Venus in Sag has with Jupiter and Libra at the moment. But in addition, Venus in Sag will make three direct aspects to other planets while she's in Sag. Uh, the first one of those is a direct sextile to Jupiter around October 26. That's probably one of our more positive aspects coming up because we do have that pure definition of mutual reception, when, uh, which is when we've got planets in each other's signs, but also in a direct aspect. So Venus sextile Jupiter around October 26th, really great for opportunities, luck, uh, sort of juicy support, collaboration in general, a little bit of a romantic quality there as well. Has the feeling of things coming together easily or with flow and maybe with um, a few extra things that you hadn't expected that are kind of like welcome bonuses. After that, Venus will make a conjunction to Saturn, who's also in Sagittarius. That will happen around October 30. Now, Saturn is a great planet for stabilizing and for manifestation. So things become very concrete and real when Venus works with Saturn. Uh, the things that do kind of become concrete and real have great long-lasting potential. So Venus, Saturn, October 30, it is good for commitments of all kinds, not just in your relationships, but in any area of life where you're looking to perhaps work with other people um, and stay things up that have that long-term um, perspective or, or focus. The final aspect that Venus in Sag will make is a trine to Uranus and that will happen around the 5th of November. And this is a very exciting kind of upbeat impulsive energy so you might make a spur of the moment decision you might decide to kind of follow your heart rather than follow the rules uh, so that's coming up early in November. And I said there was a second thing to watch out for this particular week, uh, the thing to be mindful of, which is Mars conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. So this is a bit of a powerhouse aspect. The potential to be able to blast through barriers uh, is, is there. Mars working with Pluto really combines this idea of the force of your will. So when you have a specific focus, when you have a specific goal, when you get a little bit obsessed about it, uh, that's the kind of energy that Mars Pluto can encourage and the progress that you can make from that is the big gift out of a Mars-Pluto aspect. Um, I'd also be sort of this idea of encouraging this idea of maybe um, speaking truth to power with Mars-Pluto, reclaiming your own power, being really empowered, being conscious about how what you do can inspire or affect other people. Um, but for the most part, I think this Mars-Pluto is a great sort of opportunity to tap into whatever the longer cycle of Pluto and Capricorn may mean for you. And certainly to make some clear decisions or take specific actions that help create welcome progress. Mars Pluto is really productive and it's very much about getting you back into your passions, the things that really get you going, that motivate you, that perhaps can help you overcome your fear. Um, so there's a lot of courage on offer with that Mars Pluto aspect. So kind of it's like a don't delay act today kind of thing with that Mars Pluto conjunction on October 19. Mars only meets Pluto in Capricorn once every two years. So do take advantage of that special opportunity. Have a great week, guys. If you need any more info, you know you can find me on my website, kellysastrology.com, on Facebook, on Twitter, or on Instagram. And if you do want to check in to see how the planets might be showing up in your life and how you can tap into their rhythms, uh, come and have a consult. Love to work with you. It's one of my favorite things to do. So just pop over to the FAQ page on my website. Take care, guys. Have a great week.